Hello and welcome. Welcome to What's New Wednesday. It's Bill Skladowski and it's time for our usual Wednesday evening uh, update on all things iPhone and iPad. And uh, we've really been digging into a lot of the new features with iOS 14 and tonight is no exception. Every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, What's New Wednesday. Every Friday night at 8 o'clock, iPhone Friday with a little more in-depth how-to lesson on stuff. But wanted to show something a little fun tonight and um, I'm working to keep these a little more compact just to make them kind of a one thing that you can try and make use of and have some fun with. So I think I've got a good one for you tonight. And that is that they have, uh, that Apple has updated the um, iPhone and iPad keyboards to let you actually now search for specific emojis. What? You're, what? You're not using emojis? Come on, you're not cool. You want to send those cool text messages to the grandkids, don't you? Yes, I know you do. So you have to keep uh, using those emojis in there. You know, the little pictures, the smiley faces, and the, you know, the kissy faces, and the poop. <laughs> yes, it's, it's all in there. It's all true. So let's dig in and let me show that to you. Now, uh, I'm going to show that on the, um, oops, let's get rid of that. I'm going to show this to you in Apple's Notes app, which is the yellow uh, notepad up there, one of my absolute favorite apps of all time. But it works in, I think, every other app that uses a keyboard. I mean, anytime you have to type, right? So, for example, if I were to open up a note, which I just did there, you know, the Notes app, typically, one of my favorite words when I'm teaching class, typically... This is what you're going to see. Now, if you don't have a blank note, if you're opening up and you start here where you've got all your big long list of notes, right? Way down in the bottom there, see it down, way down lower right corner, that little, uh, you know, kind of square with a pencil. It's a, it's a piece of paper with a pencil on it or a pen. You tap on that and it opens up a new note. So if you didn't know that, you're welcome. So now the first line of, boy, we're getting a little kind of refresher on notes here. The first line of text at the top is the title of the note. So when you type, it's automatically going to be a little bigger and a little bolder. So if I were to type title of note, let's make it capital, make it real live headline there. See, it's, it's big and beefy and it stands out for you. But then you hit return and it goes down to the next line, you know, and I can go, uh, this is the rest of the note. Okay. So automatically makes a title for you. It's, it's just helpful that way. But what we're here to talk about tonight is the emoji thing. Now you can see that the keyboard has already, the auto suggest, right? Those, those three words down there across the top of the keyboard where it says note, notes, and it actually shows a little note, right? So that if you wanted to include that emoji, by the way, if you don't know what emoji means, it's a little itty bitty symbol that means, that's a word that stands for a word, right? Maybe that was news to you. I don't know. But whenever you see them, you can just tap on it and it will replace the word that it signifies. So if I tap on the little thing there, it will, it changed the word note into the picture of the note, right? And that works with everything. So if I, you know, type in smile, Right, it's going to show several smiles down there in the corner, and I can tap on any one of them, and it will replace that. That's we've probably seen that before. That's probably not new to you. What might be new to you is the ability to search for just the right emoji, or to create several of them in a row if you wanted to, without having to type out the word. Okay, so I'm gonna backspace over that smiley face. And what I'm going to show you, it down in the very, now look, yours, I do need to tell you this, yours might be a little different, but down in the bottom, lower left of the keyboard, you got the space bar, you got the microphone, and then right next to it, on mine, it's a little globe, okay? On yours, it might be a globe and it might be a smiley face, right? Because I have several different keyboards that I can use here on, on my phone and you may have different keyboards and so like what that means is if you um, would prefer to type in French or Spanish you can install a French or a Spanish keyboard on your device and it will show you the characters that are specific to that language okay 
So that's what you're looking for down in the corner there. So again, you might have the globe or you might have the smiley face icon. Either way, it's going to be kind of a little black and white wireframe thing. So tap on that. And now it gets to all the emojis that are on your phone. And believe me, I'm, all I'm doing is swiping across, swiping across, across, across. There are hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of them. And they are arranged in categories. So as you see at the very bottom, ABC, ABC takes you back to the regular keyboard. But let's go back there. Oh, let's go back there. There we go. I had, I had big smiley faces as another keyboard. So anyway, you also at the very bottom, you have the little clock. You can barely see this, I know. But when you try it, you'll see it. The little clock is the most recently used things that you have sent, right? And then there's smiley faces. And then there's an animal, which shows you all kinds of animals and fruits and vegetables and stuff. Oh, I'm on the fruits and veggies. You can barely see it there. And then there's a soccer ball, which shows you all different kinds of sports. And then there's a light bulb, which shows you all kinds of gadgets. Okay. So you get the impression there's just a ton of stuff in there. And rather than, so here's the, here's the trick. Rather than scroll through and try and find stuff amongst the hundreds of different apps in there, okay, you now have, look at the very top of the list of emojis there, there's a thing that says search emojis. That's the new thing. That's the what's new in the what's new Wednesday. So now I can simply tap in there and start typing what I'm looking for. I'm going fishing tomorrow. F-I-S-H, fish. There's all kinds. Oh, there's a, look, there's even a fishing one. So I could tap that and it inserts it. Or I can have a fish or another fish or even sushi. <laughs> right? Awesome. Now those, once they're in there, are just like regular characters or letters, and you can hit the backspace button. See down in the lower uh, right corner of the keyboard there, backspace, 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 and it gets rid of the search, or if I tap in up there, backspace, 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 all right, and gets rid of them. But again, tap, search, car, there's a whole, oh, I got a whole bunch of cars, I got a red car, I got a blue car, I got a race car, so you get, see you can, oh, <laughs> see I typed another R, so I started to get carrot, and then farmers. And I don't know what the purse is for, what that has to do with carrots. But anyway, you get where I'm coming from with this. So now you can use the emoji search to search for any particular little picture. And yes, you can use the pile of poop if you'd like to. <laughs> okay, that's going to do it for that. Let's get rid of that. This is, a, this is a family show. So again, the keyboard with the emoji search works in any app that has the ability to add emojis to it. Things like email or text messaging or notes or anything, okay, that you can use that normally you would be able to type into. Just look for, the important thing is to look for the little emoji symbol down there in the lower left corner, just a little bit in from the space bar there. And you can find which, you know, you can do a search for whatever emoji it is you are looking for, okay? <sighs> Helpful? I hope so. Always fun to be able to send people messages with, you know, different emojis and pictures and stuff like that in them. Okay. If you haven't done so yet, this picture is worth a thousand words. Head on over to the website at BillSkladowski.com. Sign yourself up for the free weekly newsletter. Uh, it just comes out on Sunday, just once a week. And you will get uh, a newsletter that lists the two most recent videos. So, you know, the one from the previous Wednesday and the one from the previous Friday. And also, when we have a free handout of how to do something, which is every week, I create a little handout like I would for my uh, regular uh, classes to show you how to do the things that we've talked about in the past week, okay? So usually, it's just about the iPhone Friday, but this week, I'll probably include some of the stuff on how to do that emoji search thing, too, so you'll have both of those. And you can print them out and keep them and save them for future reference. All right, that is going to do it. Have yourself a, a great rest of the week. Stay safe out there. Keep washing your hands. It's still important. And we will see you Friday night for iPhone Friday. Oh, by the way, if you have questions or comments, I say this all the time, questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to uh, leave them anywhere you are watching this video, either on Facebook or YouTube or on the blog at BillSkladowski.com. And if there are uh, friends or family that you think would benefit from this, please feel free to share it. All right, now I'm done. We'll see you Friday for iPhone Friday. Thanks.